Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Building blocks allow you to create reusable document content that you can save and insert into your future documents when needed. For example, you could save your company's logo and name as a custom building block that you could easily insert into future documents without having to recreate all of the content and related formatting. The content that can be saved as a building block can range in complexity from simple text entries to more complex logos or watermarks. Building block content is saved into and organized by galleries. It's worth noting that you can save building blocks with your document templates for easy distribution. First, you need to create the content that you want to save and reuse. In a Word document, create the text, pictures, or whatever it is that you want to use for a building block. Once you've created the content, you then need to select all the content that you want to save as part of the custom building block. It's important to note that if you want to save the formatting associated with a text selection, you will also need to include the paragraph mark that follows the selection as part of the building block. Remember that you may need to enable the display of the non-printing characters as you learned in Introductory Word in order to see the paragraph marks. Once the content that you want to save has been selected, you can then save it as a building block by clicking the Insert tab in the ribbon and then clicking the Quick Parts button that appears within the Text button group. From the drop-down menu of choices, choose the Save Selection to Quick Part Gallery command. This will invoke the Create New Building Block dialog box. Here is where you will give Word the information that it will need to store and organize the content for later use. Enter a name for the building block into the name field. Then use the Gallery drop-down to choose the type of gallery into which you want to save the content. You can then use the Category drop-down to choose either an existing classification category or to create a new category for classification purposes. You can then enter a brief text description of the saved content into the Description field. You then use the Save In drop-down to choose the document template into which you want to save the content. Any document that is then created from the selected template will have the building block available for use. Remember from introductory word that the default template used for new blank documents is called the normal template. If you want this building block to be available to all default documents on a computer, then choose the normal choice from the Save In drop-down. Otherwise, select the name of the custom template to which you want to save the building block. Note that if you want to save it into a custom template, that template must first be opened in Word before it will appear in the Save and Dropdown list within this dialog box. Once you've selected a template, you can then use the Options dropdown to choose how Word will insert this content into a document when used in the future. Your choices are Insert Content in its own page, which will insert the building block content into its own page with page breaks placed before and after the insertion point, insert in its own paragraph, which will insert the content into its own paragraph within a page, or insert content only, which will only insert the content of the building block. Once you've finished entering the information, click the OK button to save the selected content as a building block into the selected template. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.